It's a beautiful snowy day in South Korea. Today I'm going to show you guys foods that you can get for a dollar in Korea. Recently I spent so much money creating contents that I don't have much money to spend. Well, would you guys believe me if I told you guys that there's all kinds of food that you can get for under a dollar in Korea? Well, you'd better believe it because you can. I'm hungry. Let's go. Why don't we start here? They were selling this thing called pungopang, which translates to cushion bread. It doesn't actually have the fish, but it's just baked into that shape. They were only 75 cents for 4 pieces. That's a deal I don't want to miss out on. They usually have red bean paste or cream in them. And the ones that they're selling here were a smaller version called mini bungopang. This is obviously way below average size, but let's see if it can satisfy me. They just baked it so it was super crispy on the outside. And the cream was so hot I almost got a burn in my mouth. They've gotten more expensive than they used to be, but it's still super affordable and it's nice to pick one up as you're walking by one of these stalls. I don't know what it is about this kind of street food, but they make this winter feel less lonely. Of course, that's just an illusion. I'm still very alone in this world. Snow in Korea is so beautiful. I love it. It also makes street food better too. I also found this fish cake stall, and it was only 54 cents per skewer. You can also get their broth for free, which is really cool. Ah, thank you. They had two different flavors, mild and spicy. They had soy sauce, and this mysterious spicy sauce to go with the fish cake. People used to just dip their half-eaten fish cake into this shared soy sauce when I was young. Now you can just take this brush and brush it on. What took them so long to figure this out? I've already shared my bodily fluid with so many people. I mean through soy sauce, of course. So how good is this really? I wouldn't compare this to a proper meal at a restaurant, but for something that is 50 cents, that is so accessible everywhere in Korea, I don't know if there's any room for me to complain here. It's clean and simple, 100% worth the money. I found another street food vendor, and her rice cake was only 38 cents. This is like the cheapest thing that I've seen in a long time. Wow. Mm. This is good, honest rice cake. 100% rice. Look how nicely the surface is baked. You know what's also really good? If you dip this in honey, that's really good too. I got so fat eating this when I was a kid. <laughs> she was also selling other interesting items such as corns and chestnuts. And check this out. These are the people that pay money to see girls naked on OnlyFans. Just kidding. These are non-human insects called bandegi. It's a silk moth in its pupa stage, which is kind of gross. But I'm sure even these bandegis are smart enough to know that you can watch that kind of stuff for free on the internet. Okay, I didn't want to get the bandegi, so I decided to get this fish jerky instead. These are called jipo in Korea, and they were only 75 cents for three. And I really love the fact that she bakes it on the spot for me. Oh, this is like a quarter per piece. That's unbelievable. Look how nicely it bubbled up. You guys know how some jerkies are super tough when you bite? I loved how crispy and light it was. And of course, super high in protein too. So what's next? How would you guys like to have some gukwapang as well? It's only 75 cents for 5 pieces. Ah, with red bean paste and flour batter, I would say this is pretty similar to pungopang. Let's get a taste of this. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's some craftsmanship right there. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the generosity of her of putting so much red bean paste in this. Yeah, I don't 
Wait, how did she know that I don't have a proper job? 그럼 가보겠습니다. 네, 잘 가요. 다음에는 부인이랑 같이 올게요, 부인이랑. 오늘, 오늘 해줘, 저 여자 만나면 좋고, 해줘. 네, 알겠습니다. 여기 계세요. 네. That was funny. <웃음> Why don't I find something from a traditional market this time? I feel like they would have something affordable too. This is gonna be good. Oh wow! It was a really cool handmade fish cake place. They were all 75 cents each. And I decided to get this bacon one. Ah, <laughs> Ah, I guess you Huge shout out to Suyu Omuk Gongjang. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this. Unlike the other fish cake that I had all year, which felt more factory made, this one felt a lot more handcrafted. And it was super chewy on the inside. I was really happy with it, and the generosity of the owner really made my day. This is definitely below average size though, right? Unbiased opinion, I think this might be the best fish cake that I've had ever. How about I try these Korean style donuts? They're only 150 for three. Of course, I had to get it sugar coated too. I'm gonna have to have it while it's still warm. This is something that you can often find in Korea. This is the guabegi, which means uh, screwed. I guess you could say it's kind of like a donut. Coated with sugar, it's horrible for your health. But it's gonna taste really good. Oh my god. So crispy on the outside and super soft on the inside. Kinda like me. I look like a hard, strong guy on the outside. But deep inside, I am a soft man. It's kinda like my life too. 100% screwed. <laughs> now let's check out this one. This one's kinda like Dunkin' Donuts. Except inside of this, they have red bean paste. Something that you'll see over and over again in Korea. Mm. Super sweet and it's really warm right now. Not gonna lie, as a kid, I didn't really like red bean paste. I don't know why. The older I get, the more I appreciate this. I also found this egg bread stall, so I wanted to give it a try. The problem that I often have with affordable food is that they tend to be low in protein. But this 75 cents gerampang or egg bread seems to have a plenty of protein. On one side she was making these really cool peanut breads, but it was like $2, I couldn't afford it. Now let's see how good it is. You guys see the egg whites? I kinda wish it tasted a little sweeter or more buttery because it honestly tasted a little bland. But I'm not gonna complain too much because it has protein. That's some blazing hot quality protein right there. Oh, oh, almost dropped it. Jesus, that was a great catch. Ah, oh, it's burning me. Lots of accident here, but that's okay. My father said even my birth was an accident and look how great it turned out. Why don't we invite a special guest for the next place? Do you guys remember her? It's the convenience store girl's Hunjin. <laughs> you see guys, sometimes I'll be walking outside with a friend. And sometimes I need coffee. But in Korea, if you go to Starbucks, it's over $3 for a coffee. And that's too much money for me. But there is another place where I can get coffee from. And their coffee is only a dollar. Oh, I'll buy coffee. Oh, I'll buy coffee. There are a few budget coffee franchises in Korea, and this one called Mega Coffee is one of them. Well, should we get the coffee then? And yes, even at this price, a coffee shop looks like a Korean coffee shop. I'm just happy that there are places like Mega Coffee for everyday middle class people like me. Actually, I'm not even middle class. <laughs> and there's our coffee. Oh, is that my coffee? She got this really cool coffee that has frozen chunks of coffee in it. I think the idea is to prevent the coffee from getting watered down by the ice. 
This coffee was about $2.70, while my Americano was $1.15. She'd better enjoy that expensive coffee. Meanwhile, I'm okay with the dollar coffee. Ah, it's great coffee. And I like the size of their cup too. Because you know, size always matters. Can we be honest here guys? To 99% of us, this coffee and Starbucks coffee and $10 coffee, they all taste kind of the same. So why pay more? I have a feeling that some snobby people will not be cool with the dollar coffee place. But my friend Sunjin isn't like that. She's a down-to-earth good girl. Let me tell you, it's hard to find people like that these days. Not with a dollar at least. We saw another bungopang stall outside and Sunjin wanted to get some too. Guys, I'm a true gentleman. I always offer to pay for the girl as long as the food is cheap. Unlike the mini bungopang that I had earlier, these were full-size big boy bungopang. Haven't had these in a while. I got the red bean flavor and Sunjin got the cream flavor. They were pretty good. These things tend to taste almost identical everywhere you go, but the red bean paste in mine felt a little chunky. You know what I can do? If my YouTube doesn't do well, I can just get a job at McDonald's and eat bungapang every day. That being said, I had more bungapang later at night without the girl, unfortunately. Despite being double the price, this place was far better than the other one. Just look at their red bean paste. Completely filled up without chunky pieces. What else do they have here? Would you guys like some corn dogs? These are actually called hot dogs in Korea. The man deep fried it on the spot for me and sprinkled sugar on it. Oh, thank you. Oh Jesus, that corn dog looks thick. Is this sugar or snow? I can't really tell. Wow. Blazing hot, love it. I think I'm just gonna stand there like a K-drama character. Why can't Chairman Lee understand that I truly love his daughter? At this point, I should just audition for a K-drama role. Anyway, the corn dog was pretty good. It's just like a bigger version of American corn dog. To end my day, I decided to go to 7-Eleven. I wasn't hungry anymore, but I just wanted to see what they have for a dollar. But honestly, it looks like the times have changed. The only things that I could find for less than a dollar are these drinks and some of these hamgakimbap, or what they call onigiri in Japan. I mean, these aren't bad, but one dollar used to get you a lot more than these. So the only thing that I ended up getting was their coffee from their coffee machine. It's probably not the best coffee in the world, but I'd rather get this coffee than paying three times more for what's marginally better. Not gonna lie, things have gotten really expensive in Korea and it was really hard to keep everything under a dollar. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you guys help me enough, maybe I'll do another video where there's no budget limit. Go watch my other videos and help me make my much needed money. Goodbye guys!